Well, this next story screams Indiana, although I would say it could scream Kentucky. It could. Or Louisiana. Ohio, Arkansas. Lots of options here. Illinois. Texas. 15 Hoosiers competing on the stage at the uh, state fairgrounds in the USA Mullet Championship Qualifiers. These were some really impressive mullets. <laughs> the qualifiers are basically the semi-finalists of the competition, with the winner gaining a spot in the Top 25 National Championship. Fox 59's Michael Vanskoik breaks down the fairly new competition. Whoever said mullets weren't in style? U.S. mullet! Mammy Mullet in the house. If you ask those with the do, like Mammy Mullet, Mamma Mullet deserves this for the grandbabies. It could even be considered a lifestyle. Been rocking the mullet for 28 years. For others, the hair has even deeper, more meaningful roots. I've had it before and got it back after I had my colon cancer and decided I only have one life to live and I'm I like long hair. No matter the backstory, 15 lucky mullet-wearing Hoosiers got to show off their hairdo on Saturday. The USA Mullet Championship is actually fairly new. It kicked off back in 2020. We expected this to be a fun, small thing. Our founder, Kevin Bagola, just came up with this idea because he realized no one was doing it. And next thing we know, people like Barstool Sports and Access Hollywood and the Today Show were picking it up and sharing it without us even mentioning it to them. Saturday marked the semi-final contest. It's narrowed down from thousands of applicants to the 15 meanest and cleanest mullets in America. Today we're going to be learning more about the mullets, what brought them to life, what brought them into their character. Some participants didn't know such a thing existed, but now they're walking away pretty proud of their flow. It didn't kind of go as planned as I had planned it out in my head, and I put it out there in the universe. I wanted to take first place, but I'm very happy with third place, so it was great and grand. But nobody left more excited than first place winner and veteran John Poor, especially after he missed out on last year's mullet mania. All my guys at work are saying, ah, oh, you're not, you, you're going to win, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'll probably be at least on the stage, and I am so shocked. Oh, my God. It, it's been fun. It's been a blast. All the contestants were great. From the Indiana State Fair, Michael Van Skoik. Fox 59 News. Well, he wasn't in the competition, but you certainly could have been. This was my, my best attempt at a mullet. Um, I can show to you right here. Uh, this was when I was, I believe, in eighth grade. See, uh, I mean, the, it's, you can see there's some party in the back. A little party in the back. Back there, we're talking about, you know, right there. It's no mammy mullet, but it's... It's an attempt. It was a small private affair. It wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a, large, a large party. Large party. <laughs> it was a, just a little bit of a, a baby mullet going on. With the braces, though, sort of completed That's the That's really nice. It's nothing compared to the winner who had the full handlebar connected to mm -hmm. the mullet, all one. Mm -hmm. That was really impressive. Pretty sure that was 1988. Well, I, I think that's that when Mammy on. started growing hers. She said about 30 years she's been rocking it. So. It took that long. Well, this weekend's winner at the State Fair got a $500 prize and the chance to compete in the Top 25 Main Event <laughs> National like that. Championship. And uh, that is uh, for Best Mullet. Uh, is, that uh, is coming up later in the fall. I'm really excited to see countrywide what kind of mullets come in. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was serious business. Way to represent Indiana, though, everyone. Great nice. work.